card isn't just an ID card, it's the pinnacle of scientific achievement. It all started back in 1918 when Dr. Alfred B. Von Hoob, then Associate Professor of Chemistry at the University of Nebraska, first proposed the idea of an enhanced student, faculty and staff ID card. His early experiments, groundbreaking in their day, first bore fruit in the fall of 1921. There he shocked the academic world with the introduction of his Von Hoop card, an ID card that also provided free admission to select sporting events. Historians would later call this the A-card. The 1930s brought a flurry of advancements from Von Hoop's laboratory. The D-card, with the ability to vote in student elections, was hailed by the press on both sides of the Atlantic as a scientific marvel. He was even immortalized in song in 1933. <laughs> You're more than a science guy, you're a hero in the people's eye, oh, what do you do? you're more than just a brain. Replicating the success of the D-card was not an easy task, however. the world's first ID card that could double as a library card. This would be Von Hoop's crowning achievement. In 1939, he mysteriously vanished, leaving his life's work to be carried on by his esteemed associates. Today, Dr. Von Hoop is revered as the grandfather of the end card. His experiments have paved the way for ID card advancements beyond his wildest imagination.